Welcome back kids. I've had several requests for a video showing how to set up the Wi-Fi on the Masso. So that's what we're going to do today. This should be short and sweet. So let's get with it. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> this is if you have a Windows computer. Uh, we're going to add a shortcut on our desktop to our control panel. That'll be handy in this exercise, and it'll also be handy to have for the rest of your life. So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing to do. As you can see, I already have a shortcut to my computer, which, you know, it just speeds up the process if you ever need to get in there for some reason. But let's do the uh, shortcut to the control panel. If you don't know where your control panel is, just go to your search function, type in control panel, and it'll show the app. And then over here, mine has a little open button. Don't matter which one you click, you're going to go to the same place. But we'll just click the app. And now we're in the control panel. In order to make a shortcut, just left click and hold and drag it up here and drop. And boom, just like that, you have a link, a shortcut to your control panel, which is very handy. All right, so. The reason we're in here, we need to go to our network and internet. And once we're in here, we just click network and sharing center. All right. And it's going to show you what your Wi-Fi network, the one that you're on. Mine is shown here. Uh, we have a dual band router. And it has, of course, the, we use mainly this one here and we just named it Mitchell the other one is called Mitchell guest so I'm just going to click on that and that'll bring this up and it'll show you uh, just some basic things but click on your details here this is where all the good stuff is that you're going to need here in a little bit just scroll down your list there and you'll find your IP address which is here now that's mine yours will be different Subnet mask, you'll need that. There's mine. Yours may be different. And down a little bit further, your default gateway. All right. Those are the three sets of numbers that you're going to need once we get over here to the MASO. So let's get out of the computer, go over to the MASO, and I'll show you what to do over there. All right. We're in my MASO. To get into the Wi-Fi settings, you just go to the upper right of your screen, like if you're in the F2 or something. You can't get there from the F1, but any of the other screens you can. So up here's your Wi-Fi. Just double tap that, and that'll bring up your Wi-Fi settings. Now you'll see mine are already filled in, but this is where uh, you will just fill in your network name and your password, your security key. Mine's already filled in just to save time on this demonstration. But once you have uh, your network name and your security key in there, you're just going to hit connect. And it's going to show connecting. It's getting the IP address and boom, you're connected. There's your IP address. Now we could leave it at that and uh, the Maso link will work. But the way I have mine set up, I went ahead and did the fixed IP address option. Now you got to disconnect. Then you click that. And there are all of my settings. So uh, this is what I was showing you earlier in the video. And there's my fixed IP address, my subnet mask, and my default gateway. And you will have to manually type these in. Then you're going to hit connect. Connecting, get an IP address, connected. So from now on, that's going to be my Wi Fi network for my MASO. Simple as that. And then we just hit exit. Now let's go back over to the, the computer. Okay, next we have to download the MassoLink software to our computer. So open up your browser, and I'll have this link in the description below. You'll go to this website, 
and I'm running Windows, so I just click on the Windows version. It'll automatically download that to my download folder. I can just open that folder right there. Give it just a second. And there it is. So now what we want to do is create a folder on the desktop called Masso. So we're just going uh, new folder. I'm going to call it Masso Demo since I already have one of these on my computer. I'm just kind of redoing this for y'all. So now that we've got the Masso Demo, you'll just call it my whatever. Whatever the, your machine name is, call it that. And you'll go over here to your download folder and drag it and drop it into that new Masso folder on your desktop. And we open that up. All right. And there is the exe file that we just downloaded. We're going to double click on that. We get a warning here. Let me, it says settings data file not found. Resetting to default. That's okay. You're going to see that the first time you download this software. So just click OK. And this is where you're going to type in your IP address that is showing over on your MASO. So I wrote mine down. 192. This is my permanent Wi-Fi connection. 168. Then 001 and 078. Now that's my IP address. Yours will most certainly be different. So then we click connect. Of course, Norton popping up, let me know. Does not have a valid signature. I'm going to allow always because I know Masso is safe. All right. We are connected. So as simple as that, there we are. Uh, when you're ready to send a file to your Masso through the Masso link, you're just going to drag and drop it in there. So let me do this. I'll go in here. We'll just send one over there. Right there. This. So there's the file we want to into the mass o we simply drag it drop it right there there the name popped up right there so i have a folder on my thumb drive that's just called mass o so i'm going to say i just want it to go in that folder so this is where you're going to tell it where to send this if you don't specify this it'll just send it to the root directory of your uh, thumb drive so you can do it either way. But anyway, my folder on my thumb drive is called Masso. I'm going to send that file. And there it goes. And that's all it is to it. And it, we'll go over here and I'll show you where to find the file. And this is a large file, so it's taken a little bit sent over there. But uh, So let's go ahead and move on over to the Masso and wait for it over there. And then I'll show you what to do. See right now it's saying there's no G code files on the USB flash drive because I'm in the F6 load file tab. You don't have to be in the F6 to send over a file. It just so happens that I am because we're making this video. All right, just about there, and there it is. Okay. <clears throat> uh, folder, and if we look in the folder, there it is. There's that file we just sent. So let's load that. It's a large file, so there again, it'll take a minute or two. But there it is. Uh, it's loaded up now on your Masso. You can go over here and to your uh, jog or probe and do whatever you need to do to get set up to make some man glitter. See how easy that was? No biggie. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi feature is so awesome. It's uh, much better than the old 
caveman method where they had to save it to their thumb drive and then carry the thumb drive over here and plug it into the mass. So we don't work like that here, and I hope you don't either. And I hope I explained that well enough to where you can understand uh, how, uh, how to set that up. And if you do have any problems, any questions, post them down below. I'll be glad to get with you. Uh, also, I have a link to my dot cards business card in my bio. You can contact me through there too. Uh, so yeah, let me know if I can do anything else for you. Uh, here's my current subscriber count. I'm real happy with that. And also last week, I hit my hundred thousandth view and you know during the lifetime of my channel so that was awesome for a little guy well not a little guy a little channel like mine so thank y'all for sticking with me i appreciate you so much and that's it for this one i'll see you on the next video that's it for this video i hope i three two one. And that's it for this video. I hope I. Shit, why can't I do that? Whoop, whoop, whoop.